everyone. Today we will start a very important concept which is useful in physics. That is differentiation. It's a part of calculus, right? Though this is studied in detail in mathematics, but here in physics also we this is a very important concept. So before we start the technical aspect, we must uh, first move on to the concept using some general observations in your daily life. You have studied about the coordinate system, x y coordinate system. You have studied about dependent variable and independent variable, right? So we can take an example of uh, the age and the height. As the age increases, the height increases. So if we take the example of age and height, so height depends on age we can say. So we can say that age is an independent variable. Right? And height is dependent variable obviously. Similarly, if we have a function y right which is dependent on x right so if we say that if y is dependent on x we can say that y is the function of x right so that means as x varies, y also varies. So, what is differentiation? Differential coefficient or in other words we can call it derivative. Differential coefficient is what? It's converted from this form. I'll tell you how. So here what we are doing, you understand this symbol delta, delta y upon delta x. What does it mean? With how much change in x, delta y is the change, right? So with how much change in x, how much is uh, the y value varies. This is called as delta y upon delta x we can say, right? Now if we say that this change delta x is very very small, so small that delta x can be considered nearly zero. We can't say that it is zero because if we divide something by zero, it will be infinite term which is undefined, right? So if we apply a limit, what limit we are applying? That delta x is very very small, so small that it is near to zero, very near to zero, right? So we can write down this delta y upon delta x this way if this delta x value is very very small. Right? So we can say what is differentiation or differential coefficient? Differential coefficient This is called differentiation or in other words it is also called as derivative of a variable y with variable x right is given by this value at any instant At any instant here, time is not the instant. At any instant means at a particular value. That means if we 
consider this delta x to be very very small then we can say that delta y by delta x can be replaced by dy by dx right if we talk in terms of geometry right so we know that if we have x independent variable and y dependent variable right and we have any curve which is giving us any function so at any point if we are drawing any tangent this will give the instantaneous value at this point p as we had discussed in case of instantaneous velocity so this slope of this tangent at p gives the derivative of y with respect to x slope of the tangent at p is dy by dx this is the geometrical form of differentiation now how this concept is related to physics first i will tell you that and the basic formula i will introduce and explain you the rules afterwards right so i am dubbing all this so this way dy by dx is simply the variation of y variable with x variable such that the change in x is very very small it tends to zero right so let's take a case of physics we have speed is equal to or you can say velocity is equal to change in position upon change in time this is what we have studied right if we apply a case right such that limit delta t tends to zero delta t is very very small and we are applying this here we can say that this value delta tends to t tends to zero means at a particular instant so this is called as instantaneous velocity and it gives it is given by differentiation of x with respect to time or you can say it is given by change in position with change in time i hope this much is clear we will take different examples to understand the concept more now first we try to understand the basic formula and how to apply that one of the formula for differentiation is if y is given as the function of x and that function of x is supposed x to the power n right so that means if we have this value then d by dx of y that means this term is called as the symbol of differential coefficient this is called symbol for differential coefficient right so if we find d by by dx the formula directly as such you have to learn this we are not deriving this here because we are not concerned with derivation here so the formula is and x to the power n minus 1 this you are supposed to remember right and then after this basic formula after this basic formula we are going to discuss what all rules have to be considered for understanding and applying this differentiation concept right so i am rubbing this important points to be kept in mind right so important points are number 1 right different
differentiation of differentiation is also called as derivative this is also called as derivative right so differentiation of a constant is zero right so let's try to understand why is it so so if we have suppose y is equal to let's take this in terms of physics example only right so if the position is given in terms of function of terms of function of time right so this is position function of time right so here we have to find the differentiation of the constant so if we write differentiation of constant we can write it like this 5t4 plus 3t to the power 0 we'll consider the same example before we proceed i'm writing the other points also if two terms are added differentiation added or subtracted i would say is applicable on both right so that means here these two terms are added we have to apply differentiation over this term and differentiation over this term right third is if you can write in short a constant in product form a constant in product form is kept outside the differential symbol right so like in this example 5 is multiplied here yeah. so five will be kept outside the differentiation right so now we can take this example so we have this example x is equal to 5 t4 plus 3 t to the power 0 we can write here now if we want to find the differentiation so we are differentiating with respect to time why so because here x is what function of time x is the function of time here so that's why we are differentiating it with it with respect to time so this is dx upon dt right is equal to now here constant in product form so this has to be kept outside the differentiation sign we have to apply this differentiation first on the individual term here plus differentiation on this term here then according to the third rule this five will be kept outside and we have to differentiate this plus three outside d upon dt and t to the power 0 now remember the formula that if we have y is equal to f x and y is equal to x to the power n then its differentiation was n x to the power n minus 
Here we are differentiating it with respect to time. So for in place of x, what is there? t. So we can write down this as it is. t to the power 4 can be compared with t to the power 4 is equivalent with x to the power n. So how do we differentiate it? How we differentiate it like this? So this will be differentiated like this. 4 t to the power 4 minus 1. Right? So this way we can compare these to solve this. So what we will write x to the power n we will apply like this. So its power is n k jagave it is 4 t to the power 4 minus 1 plus 3 t to the power 0 right. So 0 multiplied by t to the power 0 minus 1 right. So this makes it 5 4 is 20 t to the power 3 plus 0. So as we have written, differential of a constant is 0. We can explain it here why the differentiation of constant is 0. d by dt of 3 if we are doing. So you can write it d by dt of 3 t per 0. And this way 3 can be taken outside. d by dt of 3 to power 0 makes it 3 into 0, 3 power 0 minus 1. And this makes it 0. So every time whenever we have a constant, we can directly write 0 as its differentiation. I hope this is clear. We can take some examples for that in the next video. Right?